Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be reviewing Storm Chaser at Kentucky Kingdom. Several people consider this to be one of the better RMCs out there due to it being more intense than most other RMCs. But what do I think? Before you find out, I'd like to make a small announcement. You may think that I sound different than usual. That's because I recently got pistons at the dentist, so sorry if I sound a little weird. I'm going to be sounding like that for a full year, so you may want to get used to it. I would also like to give two shoutouts. The shoutouts are to JB Thrills and Hangtime Thrills. Now, let's get into the review. The first category I'll be talking about is the stats category. Storm Chaser is 100 feet tall, it reaches a max speed of 52 miles per hour, and it packs in two inversions. You may be thinking that these stats aren't that impressive, but this ride isn't about the stats. This ride is about being more compact, so it doesn't need very impressive stats. Anyways, Storm Chaser will get a 2 out of 4 for this category. Next up, we have the drop category. Storm Chaser has a very unique barrel roll down drop. This was the second ever barrel roll drop. It's weird because it's inversion and a drop at the same time. It's pretty weird, but in a good way. This drop is very fun. It will get a 6 out of 8 for this category. Next up, we have the intensity category. Storm Chaser is known for being one of the more intense RMCs. This is definitely more intense than the other RMC I've written, Steel Vengeance. Anyways, Storm Chaser will get a 7 out of 10 for this category. Next up, we have the Inversions category. Storm Chaser has two inversions, which are the Barrel Roll Drop and the Corked Roll. These two inversions are pretty good. The Corked Roll isn't anything too special, but as I've said before, that Barrel Roll Drop is pretty fun. It will get a 5 out of 8 for this category. Next up, we have the airtime category. Storm Chaser has absolutely amazing airtime. The first hill gives amazing sustained ejector airtime. The trick track double up and the double down also give great sharp ejector. Storm Chaser definitely has aggressive sharp ejector airtime that I love. It will get a 9.25 out of 10 for this category. Next up, we have the fun factor category. Storm Chaser is very fun. The barrel roll drop and the first hill especially. This coaster will get an 8.5 out of 9 for this category. Next up, we have the theming category. Storm Chaser has absolutely no theming whatsoever. It will get a 0 out of 4. Next up, we have the restraints category. Storm Chaser has the normal RMC lap bars with shin guards. These restraints are pretty good. The shin guards bother you a little bit, but the lap bars are pretty good. They will get a 6 out of 8. Next up, we have the smoothness category. Storm Chaser is glossy smooth. There is no vibration at all. It will get a 9 out of 9. Next up, we have the layout category. Storm Chaser has a great layout, especially the trick track double up into the double down. The first drop is also a nice touch, plus the ride has very nice sharp ejector hills. Anyway, Storm Chaser will get an 8.5 out of 10. Next up, we have the location category. Storm Chaser is in an okay location. It isn't that tall, so you don't really get a good view. Also, it doesn't use the terrain at all. The location isn't very special. It will get a 2.5 out of 7. And now we have the overall score. Storm Chaser gets a 63.75 out of 87. When we base this on a factor of 10, it gets a 7.3 out of 10. That is a good score, but it is lower than my personal score. For my personal score, Storm Chaser gets a 9.8 out of 10. This currently ranks as my third favorite coaster. This is one of two RMCs I've ridden, the other one being Steel Vengeance at Cedar Point. This is my favorite of the two. That may be an unpopular opinion, but I prefer the intensity and the strong airtime over Steel Vengeance's full ejector airtime. Anyways, this is an amazing coaster. It is my personal favorite coaster at Kentucky Kingdom. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Alpengeist Fan 08, out. <laughs>